Are your service-connected disabilities causing you chronic pain? Can't play with your kids? Maybe you're suffering at work due to your service-connected disabilities? Are you slipping into a depression and it's affecting your family life, your job? You used to be the backbone of your family, but now these conditions are just causing a decrease in your quality of life. Not only are these conditions causing you additional suffering, but you may be leaving thousands of dollars on the table with your VA disability claim. Hi, welcome to VA Made Easy. I'm VA credit attorney and U.S. Army combat veteran, Ed Farmer. Today, we're going to talk about adding depression as a secondary condition to help boost your VA claim. If you've been denied your VA claim and you're looking for help, contact me at vetlawoffice.com. We not only provide representation, we have medical staff to help write nexus opinions, legal investigators to help you with those buddy statements, and we provide CMP exam preps. For now, let's get into it. So first, let's talk about what a secondary condition is and why you would want to add one. So a secondary condition is a condition that's caused by another service-connected condition. So in the example I gave, maybe your service-connected knees and back are leading to chronic pain, which is causing a, a decrease in your quality of life. For example, you can't do the activities you used to be able to do. You can't play a ball with your kid because you're in too much pain or it's affecting your career in some way. That may lead to depression, which you can then get service-connected as secondary to that knee and back issue. It doesn't just have to be knee and back issues. Depression could be linked to a multitude of other conditions. Uh, unfortunately, many veterans are suffering from terminal illnesses, which is leading to depression. Maybe you have a condition such as ulcerative colitis, which can be embarrassing, and that's causing depression. Later on in the video, I'll tell you how to service connect depression secondarily, but let's talk about why you want to. Well, the main reason you want to is to boost your VA disability rating. Many of the diagnostic criteria, such as knee and back ratings, don't take into account a decline in your quality of life or a mental health condition. And as we know, many of these conditions are rated on the lower end, 10, maybe 20%. And it's just not compensating you the way it should be. First reason why you would want to add depression as a secondary claim is to help compensate you for those symptoms that the other conditions are causing. And, and number two, it could help greatly increase your VA disability rating. So let's take an example. Maybe you're 10% on each knee and 20% for your back. That's a 40% rating total. You add in a depression claim. Depression can be rated anywhere from 0% to 100%, but a 50 or 70% rating is not uncommon, especially if you have a good representative that could get you that higher rating that you deserve. You add that depression claim, you, let's say you get that 70% for depression, but now your 40% rating, you add in a 70% for depression, now you're 80% total. Keep in mind, guys, the VA doesn't add these ratings. This is the combined rating. So 10, 10, 20, and 70 equals 80. But the difference between a 40% rating and 80% rating is almost $1,200. So the financial aspects of it is a great improvement. Also, if you're struggling with work and you're able to get that 70%, now you meet the initial qualifications for unemployability as well if you can't work due to your service-connected disabilities. So that is why you want to add a depression claim. Now, how do you win secondary service connection for depression? So one, you need some sort of evidence that you have depression. So the best type of evidence is always medical evidence. So if you've been talking to your therapist about how your condition is causing you to be depressed, then your therapist has diagnose you with depression, that is the strongest and best evidence you could have. I understand that many people don't have medical evidence showing they're depressed, and that's okay. I have won many cases where the veteran wasn't already diagnosed with depression. The workaround to this is writing a statement about how your conditions are affecting your quality of life. Now, you can't self-diagnose yourself. You can't say, well, I have depression, but you could say, I feel 
depressed. I feel depressed because my conditions are affecting the life I used to have. I used to be able to do all these active things. I used to be able to play with my kids. I used to be great at work. And now these service connected conditions I currently have are affecting me and I feel depressed as a result. Describing your symptoms such as that should be enough to get you a VA compensation and pension exam. Which brings me to the second criteria you need to establish secondary service connected for depression is a medical link between the primary condition and the depression. So you need medical evidence saying it is as likely as not, or there's a 50-50 chance that your primary condition, the one you're already service connected for, is causing the depression. Now, my recommendation as an experienced VA accredited attorney is use the VA resources first. File for the claim, give your statement or your other medical evidence, and then go to the VA compensation and pension exam. There's no point in spending thousands of dollars on a private nexus opinion at this stage. Why not use the VA resources? I've had success with many VA CMP examiners who give positive medical nexus opinions for depression on people who have never even had a diagnosis of depression in the past. The VA CMP examiner gives a negative opinion, then you might want to discuss with an experienced VA disability representative about obtaining a medical nexus opinion. Just be careful who you use, guys. There's a lot of companies out there online. Some don't always charge. Corn Ethics have done videos in the past about what makes a good VA medical nexus opinion. Go check that video out. But that's essentially what you need. You need one, a current condition, which you could describe your symptoms if you don't have a firm diagnosis. And then two, you need a medical nexus opinion linking that condition to your primary service condition. And that does it, guys. A depression claim could really help you boost your claim if it's affecting your quality of life. If you need help, reach out to me at vetlawoffice.com. For now, keep liking, keep sharing, keep subscribing. And as always, you have the power to change your view.